Hi hey everybody, let's, um, I will do uh, just a very quick overview about uh, bri uh, bridging the eight field from Houdini to Unreal. It's pretty easy if you use uh, Unreal, uh, um, if you use Houdini engine within Unreal, but um, sometimes you need uh, just to bring uh, your own, uh, uh, let's say, uh, eight map with maybe some uh, channels. So uh, I will just show you this workflow uh, as well also how to get uh, in the proper way all the textures from the level. Uh, of course it's not a tutorial about 8 field, it's just about this topic and a huge uh, mention to, should go to uh, Andini, his channel uh, is extremely useful about uh, this kind of uh, workflow is uh, really precise for uh, Houdini to Unreal. I will just show you a little bit uh, different uh, chunks uh, of, of workflow that I use, but uh, very simple. So let's drop down a geometry node. I just drop down a neat field node. Let's make it 2000 by 2000. Let's drop down an 8 field noise. I will um, bring uh, Whirly. No, Manhattan. Okay. Uh, I just bring down the roughness. And I will do this, then I add another one. Like this, let's say, with something, let's say, like that. Then I will paint Let's say that uh, we want uh, a valley here and uh, some like this I will paint a field clip this so basically we use we put the mask in the second output and uh, let's bring down this okay around that we can also a mask blur we can mask we can blur the mask a little bit so it will be less abrupt. Okay. Uh, let me check paint. I want to paint also this area. And maybe here. Okay. Then from here. We can add a distort by noise. We can clear the mask. Okay. I don't like this to be sincere. Ah, okay, because uh, is okay. like this. We can add a noise on top of that. 
just to break a little bit more the shape. Okay. Maybe uh, the first noise, this one can be a little bit smoother. Okay. Then we can just add an A field erosion. Uh, we can visualize like this. We freeze at frame 20, it will take uh, a little bit. Okay. So we have the erosion. Uh, we just clear the visualization and uh, I will add a slow field. I love every time the result of the flow field. It's pretty beautiful. You can see. And it creates another field that is flow. So uh, let's clear the mask. And let's say that this is our terrain that we want to use in Unreal. So, um, starting from here, let's say we are happy of uh, this uh, terrain. Uh, what we want to do is uh, to get uh, some masks uh, in order to texture the terrain in area. So, what you should know is that 8 field is basically a volume. So, um, you have uh, some... Uh, you see, you have uh, some volumes, and with a volume wrangle, you can simply populate uh, the volume. You can say, for example, is one, and you can see, I just uh, initialized the mask. You can't actually generate uh, in this way new level. For example, I can say mask two. It will not create this, but if I have, what I can do, for example, is 8 field copy, copy layer. So I can, in this case, create another volume and you can see it's initialized. So what we can do right now is to uh, create uh, the texture, what you want uh, to get uh, is clean levels. So basically, you want uh, that uh, each level that you bring inside Unreal uh, basically doesn't um, doesn't land upon another one. So because uh, sometimes you can have some issues uh, if you blend uh, the same level with two textures. So to have a clean, let's say, texture uh, mixing is the best way. So we have some interesting level that we will use like water and flow. Um, you can, for example, see if you drop down a volume wrangle and you say F at mask is equal to flow. You can see we have already this one that is pretty good. So let's create, uh, first of all, snow. Let's say that we want uh, a mask by feature. I, I repeat, it's not like uh, something uh, that want uh, to show you uh, the, the, the way of doing that. Uh, not at all. It's uh, just, uh, uh, it's more to show you how to get the clean levels, basically. Not uh, like uh, how to get uh, this. So, let's say... Mm. 
don't want. Let's say that uh, this is another layer that we want that is stone let's copy we call it, I don't know, stone. So we have all the level. Let's make, uh, let's clear the mask as well. And let's do another mask by feature. And we just do uh, the snow on top. We can just say by eight, compute range and you literally want only top you can also distort uh sorry no distort uh yeah these things is mask just to have this no less a little bit less uh, let's okay we don't want a slope okay much better like this so this for us uh, let's make a little bit less okay this uh, for us is the snow and we copy the layer into no so as you can see we have stone snow water flow are the one that we want and we can check right now how they look so we can mask here we can save okay so here I just take out everything And I can check, for example, cliffs doesn't show anything. Mesa, you have, you see, ground, bedrock, sediments. It's pretty good. This mask already. Uh, eight, uh, no, debris. pretty good as well flow is the our favorite then we have water and then we have stone and we have snow so let's make uh, usually I make a list because I can easily from top to bottom and I put snow. Snow is our highest level. Then on top of uh, over snow, we can have. Uh, uh, don't think about uh, the eight. Just think about what you should see on top. For example, if you take flow, 
you see flow goes from up till down so basically if we want uh, uh, grass for example here or water or mud or something uh, if we put this on top uh, it will basically um, not display what's down so basically what i think we have snow we want grass water so on top then we want uh, let's check uh, if uh, debris is better no then we want uh, flow then we want stone and then a base ground let's say this is our uh, order so in this way we can just bring all the stuff. So first thing first, let's drop down a no. And we call this, uh, we just bring out visualizer. And we call this text. Here we do the cleanup texture process. So sometimes there is this uh, issue. I don't know why. I just restart the view. Okay, clean. So let's start to clean. We have the snow and we copy. This will be on top of everything. So our snow layer, I usually call the uh, L so I can see uh, its texture layer snow. And in this way, we can have a field visualizer, and this will be our L snow. And we have our beautiful snow on top of everything. Then we want the water, so we um, eight field copy the. Uh, let's say water into mask these things you can do like this or you can just drop down a volume wrangle pretty easy and say effect mask is equal f at water and you have it so it will not be the case it will not be the case but to be sure let's subtract L snow this is what we will do uh, snow is much higher than water so it's not a problem but this is how we clean we are sure that we clean the mask and we can also clamp between 0 and 1 So we just make a copy layer. We can't initialize right now in this way. And we just take the mask and we call it L Ras. Let's make another one and We just uh, clear the mask. And we have uh, our grass layer. Pretty good. Then, uh, let's take this here. So, we want uh, the flow so we just make another volume wrangle right here and we say f at mask is equal to f at flow 
it's okay, this. Then we do f at mask is equal clamp f at mask minus f at l no. I don't remember the name. Uh, sorry. L is no. And we clamp it between 0 and 1. And as you can see, basically we cut from uh, the, the flow level, the snow, and we want to repeat these things with grass. So you can, and you can see we have cleaned this up. So you can technically um, do in a single thing, but I have seen that sometimes uh, probably some values goes uh, above or less and becomes a little bit uh, buggy, this thing. So better to do step by step. And uh, other thing, let's copy back again. This uh, will be our debris. So we have done our flow that is debris. We want to do another level that is uh, stone. And we want so F, you know already, F at mask is equal F at stone. You are already proficient with this workflow and we do f at mask is equal to amp of f at mask minus f at l no between zero and one we cut there's no then repeat we cut the grass we don't have any more the grass we cut the flow uh, sorry the debris and we have our stone here and copy here stone and Last but not least, we want, so let's check what we have done so far. Let's save, because can be, just remember to save, it can be tricky. Sometimes you have some crash, you can have, I mean, it's pretty st stable, but. So we have snow, we have uh, debris, and usually I put them. Like this, we have uh, uh, stone. And you can see we have still some, uh, uh, let's say, black areas. I think the brie should be like this. And we have these little black areas uh, that we want to cover. So let's make a base layer, volume wrangle. And we say F at mask is equal one. And we copy and paste all this stuff and we want grass debris we have another layer the snow grass debris stone we want to add the 
stone. So basically, we cover all the stuff that is not covered by stone. This is our base layer. Running base. Okay. Let's copy another eight field. Visualize. And You can see our terrain is pretty detailed and we have everything covered in the correct way. Of course, you can add all the level that you want, you can change, you can mask, you can pretty much do whatever you want. It's uh, on your... This is was just to show you the workflow. So, we have right now our terrain and we needed to export everything for um, for Unreal okay let's export uh, all this stuff so first thing first of course you can always do 8 field output node 8 field output node and here, uh, sorry, no, we will use 8 field output. You can convert the 8 field into polygon. In this way, you can set the density. It will basically create a mesh from it. And uh, it will keep the UV. So basically, what we will do right now can be used as well as mask in shader for the mesh. So basically it, this workflow will be completely um, completely compa compatible with this one. So uh, I just make another comment usually so, so I don't have to uh, check uh, these things. We have snow grass, debris, stone ground base. So I say L, snow, L, grass, L. Debris L ground base no grass debris snow grass debris ground base so one important things are resolution uh, because uh, unreal I, I am just searching uh, on Google and you have this link that I will put that gives you some uh, elements uh, that we are seeing right now but the most important is the resolution let's go for uh, this one 2017 you can go uh, also for 1000 I mean you can change but uh, let's go for this one they are a little bit weird the resolution so pay attention to have them so let's make eight field i will call eight out eight because we will have some other channels and i will just make file name dollar ip it will create an export eight field and i will call eight eight uh let's say something like that dollar s dot png let's make 16 bit floating point and we want a single channel and here we want to um let's say it's no we can also do these things, edit parameter interface, let's add, oh no, let's stay. Okay, 
so we can save let's save if it crash if it doesn't like these things and you can see it will automatically copy in the name this because sometimes then uh, it can be tricky uh, to do this thing so the resolution we can make uh, an R here uh, it's not of course necessary but uh, I will just uh, use it uh, resolution because uh, it will be easier after uh, it was 2017 okay this is our resolution copy parameter and will be paste paste uh, we don't want uh, we don't want remapping so first thing first uh, we we have the channel here no we want in this case to do the 8 and to do the 8 we just use this uh, trick that I have seen on uh, Undini Undini channel and it's pretty useful that is this trick so we put 0 and one it it looks broken right now don't worry because these two values will be extremely important later on these input mean and max so we want to export this this will be properly name and we don't want to remap it so we just save and export and this is our uh, 8 field exported then we can copy and say okay let's export snow same resolution let's export grass same resolution let's export debris let's export stones let's export ground base So let's, let's have a look. I am opening the, the folder. And you can see we have all our maps done, perfectly done. And I will just show you. Uh, we just need uh, to create a new Unreal project and uh, we need to calculate uh, a little bit of things. So uh, I just show you in this way how to calculate automatically, but uh, I mean, you can also do in your own way. So um, to get properly exported this uh, terrain into Unreal, you need to uh, convert the value of the terrain um, basically from Houdini to Unreal scale. So one thing you have, uh, let's say you have three elements. One is scale X and Y, that is uh, the tile scale. And one is the scale Z of the import in Unreal. These are the two values. So X and Y basically are the uh, are given by. I will make a channel so um, we can make it easier. So uh, is the terrain eight 
and width divided by the tile resolution. It will be clear this thing. And the scale Z is basically equal to the total height. Um, let's before sorry before that we need to calculate the total height that is float total height and is THF mean A. No, sorry. Max A minus mean A. And here we can debug it. And the scale Z is the total eight divided by five. All these things should be um, transported from centimeters to meter. So uh, from meters to centimeters. So um, basically you need to take everything. and multiply by 100. So what we have? Terrain 8 width is basically this one. It's the same because it's squared. And we have this. Tile resolution is this one. Max 8, min 8, if you remember, we have uh, here. Input max, copy parameter. And input min. In this way, if you go inside the geometry spreadsheet, we have uh, all the elements. The total height is uh, of the terrain is this one, and uh, here we have the value that we need uh, to import inside uh, Unreal Engine. So let's proceed to Unreal Engine to finish this uh, little tutorial. Okay, I created um, a real third person template and I just do new level. Basic. I lie, I love my basic level. It works, yes. And uh, I just create a new folder, the rain. And uh, first, uh, I no, I don't need to import the. Um, the pictures. I just make a material and uh, I make layer blend. Okay, I add uh, all my levels that uh, I think <laughs> I have in the other screen my little stuff and uh, I just want to have uh, snow grass green round base stone. 
I will just mimic my original eight field. You see this one. I will just mimic these uh, look and uh, I just make a very rough point. And uh, I just make white for snow. I want uh, grass to be like this. I want uh, debris to be this, let's say, On base and I want the stone to be like that. So just for visualization it doesn't mean to be good or either it's just to show you how to bring this stuff inside create material instance and let's make finally the landscape so we just go inside landscape we go to import file and we search for uh proper no it's not this one is inside Houdini project the rain export a field this one so we want here in the 8 map, the 8, you can see it's already appeared. It says uh, by automatically, it says to be an 8 bit. Really weird because I set up 16 bit. The rain export. Uh oh, uh, no, sorry. Um, H. With the terrain 8 map. Terrain export. Is export. I don't know why it says 8 bit. However. Uh, let's say uh, material, let's drag this and we have the five layers so we say uh, H, snow ah, uh, yes, we need, uh, we need uh, to create uh, the weight blend layer so in the terrain uh, we make uh, another folder we want to make weight blended inside here we just keep the name you can rename them if you want And uh, we go here, we have everything and we say snow, let's pick up the snow, grass, let's pick up the grass, debris, let's pick up the debris, ground base, uh, let's pick up ground base, stone, let's pick up stone. And here we are. And here, really important, there is uh, the... Um, scale 
let's bring back our geometry spreadsheet. Let's go to our point triangle and we have the value. So we can just copy it. 99.157. So basically we scale. Nine, let's see. Okay. It's already set up because it's squared. And we have the scale Z. Copy. Let's scale this. And uh, import. Let's wait. And uh, we should have, let's go a little bit faster with the camera speed. We should have our landscape. So sometimes you can have some issue loading the stuff. Um, about these things, um, one thing that can happen is that is a little bit steppy, you can see. So what I do usually is I open inside Houdini, I just take the, uh, I go into image and uh, I just take a file and I take the eight. Let's go here, eight. And I just blur a little bit, a tiny bit, like five. Let's say and uh, here I just say PNG and uh, I don't want to convert the image and I don't want control multiplied. Uh, let's check and export. png. Let's have a look if it fix. Let's go in. I uh, just made um, a mistake that uh, hopefully I, um, I will put an indication in the video. So um, it's not floating, but is. Uh, 16 bit fixed for the eight just uh, use 16 bit fixed for the other map you can use a 16 bit fixed uh, or i think 8 bit fixed as well and in unreal you can see you have a perfect match in what you did so um Actually, the only thing that uh, um, I don't think, okay, um, I, I just need, the, it doesn't change so much in this case because it's pretty similar, the scale stuff. You see, it's really, really, really small, the difference, uh, but let's make it. A little bit it's just to have perfect correspondence between Unreal and Udini so basically you can clear you can see that uh, of course is a little bit uh, different the, the, the overall look uh, but just uh, due to color uh, because the ground uh, is much darker you see and uh, also stone is a little bit darker you can Uh, we have debris as well that are a little bit darker. But uh, 
the you have uh, oh very far we are very far right now but uh, you see you have uh, the proper landscape it works uh, and uh, from here you have basically the same uh, Houdini and the workflow is uh, basically manage okay you have the different elements so remember texture 8 bit fixed 8 map remap min max 16 bit fixed not floating then export everything and do this little calculation to get the scale xy scale z and it will retain exactly the same informations here uh. And you can see we can just go inside our terrain it's pretty big but perfectly work let's decrease the density a little bit let's go over the mountain here Okay, you can of course, then uh, you need to create your own shaders uh, and so on, but uh, I mean, in this way, you have pretty detailed uh, textures and uh, I mean, maps and so on. And um, I prefer blur the the original map because uh, it will avoid the, the steps uh, that sometimes uh, the other one make so just uh, as you prefer you can just experiment about it hope was useful and uh, bye bye